Does the name Skinny Minnie Miller ring a bell? Well, she was a roller derby queen in the 1970s when the sport was enjoying its heyday. Roller derby is making a rough and tumble comeback. Our Alex Mihailovic strapped on a pair of skates to find out why hurting so bad feels so good. By day, she's a mild-mannered office employee. Good morning and thank you for calling 44 Victoria. How can I help you? Rosie Gimeno answers phones. One moment, I'll pass you through. She binds papers. And she does other work that makes the office run more efficiently. I'm Rosie Gimeno and I'm a corporate liaison manager. But when darkness falls and most young professionals in Toronto's financial district head home, Rosie Gimeno heads to this secluded downtown warehouse. Here she trades in her heels for wheels and she becomes Poison Thorn. Like, you know what, you look too small, you look too, uh, too innocent to play derby. Well, come watch me at the, uh, at the rink and then we'll talk. That's right. Rosie Gimeno, a.k.a. Poison Thorn, is a roller derby diva. And along with her team, the Smoke City Bettys, she's a part of a close-knit group of girls who go through a major transformation from the street to the rink. At night, when you put on your skates and you start playing with a group of women that are all like you from different parts of Toronto and different careers and different ages, it's just you all come together and it's like you're able to be something that you're not during the day. A cross-section of students, businesswomen and even academics, this sport brings in women from all walks of life. It's whoever wants to get down and dirty and, and mesh well with other women and, and get down and dirty when we're playing, that's who wants to come and join us. Lacey Brawler is an anthropology professor by day. She gives us her professional opinion about why derby's so hot. The way to be athletic that's sort of you know, it's got a cool factor to it, and there's a little bit of a little twist of irony and nostalgia. And nostalgia is a big part of it. First played in the 1920s, roller derby had its heyday back in the 70s when fans packed roller rinks to watch derby queens like Skinny Minnie Miller pass each other for points no holds barred. And look out, down those cases. 30 years later, the sport is back, and it's all the rage from arenas coast to coast. And like this flick from 1972, this year, the Derby phenomenon is hitting the big screen once again with the box office hit with it. What is this? Roller Derby? Ooh. Welcome to Skate Night at the Warehouse. The boys want to be home. The boys want to be home. We five. Drew Barrymore talked about the film when she visited the Toronto Film Festival last month. We stayed so authentic to it. You know, this is written by a Derby girl. But what these women do is a world away from the silver screen. They're not paid to do this. And today's version of this full contact sport is not choreographed like it sometimes was in the 1970s. So this isn't like, like pro wrestling where everything is pre-done, where it's rehearsed. You guys really go out there and you fight the fight. Absolutely, absolutely. Nothing rehearsed. And this sport is dangerous in more ways than one. Out there, you know, people are out to kill us. The other team wants us dead. I had a broken leg, happened in practice, but you know what, you persevere, you get through it, and uh, you just work with your team and, and you keep going. It's the nature of the game. I'm always tempted to go in with a shoulder like this, but what you really want to do is you want to hit someone's hips. And the world of roller derby is all about the women. Trust me on this one, there's no boys allowed. When I tell people I play roller derby, they ask me, oh, you play rollerball? I tell them, no, there's no balls in derby. I think it's good that it's all women. The empowerment that comes out of it. And that empowerment makes all those cuts, bruises, and broken bones worth it when these women go back to their daily grind. Roller derby has made me more confident in everything I do. I'm able to be a leader at work and at school. I gave a librarian a black eye and she came back to practice and she was just like, oh my God, Rosie, you know, like, the people at the library didn't think that I was so tough, but you know, when I came back with a black eye, yeah, I'm tough now. Tough as nails. Is it dangerous? Yeah. Weren't you scared of us? 